Market Structures Economics. Let's go over the basics first. Let's remember that a market economy relies on a system of inter interdependent prices to allocate or distribute goods, services, and productive resources. Remember that a market involves buyers and sellers interacting so that they can determine price and quantity that's going to be traded. So the market coordinates the plans of consumers and producers, both of whom act according to their own self-interest. The market structure explains the degree of competition in the market, and that can range from many buyers and sellers to a few or even single buyers and sellers. Here's some other things to consider. Competition is an attempt by two or more individuals to acquire or get the same goods and services or resources. Price is a major incentive in competition because, generally speaking, buyers want to buy at the lowest possible price and sellers or producers want to sell at the highest possible price. Consumers compete with other consumers to get the best price. Producers compete with other producers to get the best price. But there's also a factor called non-price competition, where the quality of service, the convenience of acquiring the good or service, special promotions that are run, or advertising affects the decisions that consumers make. The first market structure we'll discuss is pure competition. And pure competition exists when there are so many producers that an individual producer has very little impact on the quantity supplied or the price. Many products are available of similar or identical quality and they're being provided by what seems like an almost limitless number of producers. It's easy to enter this kind of market and become a producer, but it's very hard to affect the price because the supply is so great. Non-price competition is really not necessary or helpful in a situation where there is pure competition. So there's a lot of products being supplied by a lot of producers and um, so the competition is almost unlimited. The second type of ma market structure is a monopolistic competition. This is where different products are sold by a large number of small-scale producers. There are many producers. Products and prices will vary by the producer. So you may have some, some really high-quality products, and you may have some lesser-quality products, and you'll see that same sort of range in terms of producers. It's still easy for new producers to enter this market or to get started in this type of business but in the case of monopolistic competition, non-price competition does matter. The quality of the service, the extra um, promotions that you offer, the way that you advertise will affect the amount of business that you do in this type of market structure. Oligopoly is the third structure. This involves just a few large producers who pr who produce or supply most of the goods and services in this particular uh, market. The products may or may not be similar in quality. It depends on the oligopoly. It's difficult for new producers to enter this market. This market doesn't allow for startups very easily. Producers have significant influence over price. Non-price competition matters and producers may even collude, which is work together illegally to set prices for their benefit. So you've got a lot of producers uh, and not many, I mean, you don't have a lot of producers supplying this particular um, product when, you ha when a situation of oligopoly exists. A few very large producers. Finally, there's pure monopoly, and this is where one producer sells all the units of a good or service. The product supply and quality are determined by the producer. Price is determined by the producer and generally speaking the producer will try and get as high a price as he believes the market will support. In other words, he'll charge as high a price as consumers will pay for the product. 
Non-price competition doesn't exist because there's only one producer of the good or service. And this type of market is difficult to sustain over time without government support or illegal activity because the main feature, one of the main features of a market economy is competition. So over time, competition will even uh, usually emerge even in a pure monopoly. We'll do some more work with um, these market structures in class. If you need to rewind or rewatch any of this video, please do so now. Thanks for listening.